from the smallest atom to the largest galaxy. The universe is a tapestry of interconnected systems, each part a thread woven into the fabric of existence. We often look at the stars and wonder about our place in this vast cosmos. But what if the answers lie beneath our feet, in the intricate workings of our own planet? What if Earth itself holds the key to understanding our connection to the universe? The Earth is not merely a rock hurtling through space. It's a dynamic living system, constantly evolving and adapting. From the air we breathe to the food we eat, our lives are intricately intertwined with the Earth's delicate. Balance this understanding. This deep connection is at the heart of the Gaia Hypothesis. The Gaia Hypothesis, named after the Greek goddess of Earth, proposes a radical idea. Earth is not just a planet but a living self-regulating organism. This hypothesis was first introduced by James Lovelock and Lynn Margulis in the 1970s. They suggested that the Earth's biosphere atmosphere, oceans and soil form a complex, interconnected system that maintains the conditions necessary for life. This concept, while seemingly simple, has profound implications for how we view our home and our place within it. It challenges the traditional view of Earth as a mere backdrop for human activity, and instead presents it as an active participant in the drama of life. The Gaia hypothesis suggests that life on Earth does not just adapt to the environment, but actively shapes it. Imagine a world where the very air we breathe is regulated by the planet itself, a world where life actively participates in its own survival. This idea transforms our understanding of the natural world, highlighting the intricate connections between living organisms and their environment. For instance, plants and trees play a crucial role in regulating the levels of carbon dioxide and oxygen in the atmosphere, creating a balance that supports life. This is the essence of Gaia. It is a vision of Earth as a single unified entity, where every living thing, from the smallest microbe to the largest whale, plays a part in maintaining the balance of the whole. This perspective encourages us to see ourselves not as separate from nature, but as an integral part of it. The Earth's systems, the atmosphere, the oceans, the land, and all living things interact in a complex dance, maintaining a delicate equilibrium. This balance is achieved through countless interactions and feedback loops where changes in one part of the system can have far-reaching effects on the whole. For example, the melting of polar ice caps can influence ocean currents, which in turn can affect weather patterns around the globe. This balance is not static. It's dynamic, constantly adjusting to changes, both internal and external. The Earth is a resilient system, capable of adapting to a wide range of conditions. However, this resilience has its limits. Human activities such as deforestation, pollution and climate change are putting unprecedented pressure on the Earth systems threatening to disrupt the delicate balance that sustains life. Like a conductor leading an orchestra, Earth orchestrates this symphony of life, ensuring the continuation of the very conditions that make life possible. But unlike a human conductor, the Earth does not have a conscious plan or intention. Instead, it is the result of countless interactions and processes each contributing to the overall harmony. Understanding this symphony can help us appreciate the complexity and beauty of the natural world and inspire us to take better care of our planet. The Gaia Hypothesis reminds us that we are not separate from nature, but deeply connected to it, and that our actions have consequences for the entire Earth system. The Earth's self-regulation is evident in the intricate workings of its ecosystems. These ecosystems, from the dense forests to the vibrant coral reefs, work in harmony to maintain the delicate balance of our planet. Each element, no matter how small, plays a crucial role in this grand symphony of life. Take, for example, the tropical rainforests, often called the lungs of the planet. These rainforests are not just vast expanses of greenery. They are complex, living organisms that breathe life into our world. They are home to an incredible diversity of species, many of which are still undiscovered. The dense canopy of trees forms a protective layer, sheltering the myriad forms of life that thrive beneath it. These lush ecosystems play a crucial role in regulating Earth's climate. The rainforests act as massive carbon sinks, absorbing carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and storing it in their biomass. This process helps to mitigate 
the effects of climate change by reducing the amount of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. The rainforests also influence weather patterns, creating microclimates that support a wide range of plant and animal life. They absorb vast amounts of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, releasing oxygen in return. This exchange is vital for the survival of all aerobic organisms, including humans. The process of photosynthesis, where plants convert sunlight into energy, is the foundation of life on Earth. With about it, the air we breathe would be devoid of oxygen, and life as we know it would cease to exist. This process known as photosynthesis is essential for maintaining the balance of gases in our atmosphere, making it suitable for life as we know it. The intricate structure of leaves with their chlorophyll-filled cells captures sunlight and transforms it into chemical energy. This energy fuels the growth of plants, which in turn provide food and habitat for countless other organisms. The day-to-night transition in the forest is a testament to the continuous cycle of energy. And life then, there are the coral reefs, often described as the rainforests of the sea. These underwater ecosystems are just as vital as their terrestrial counterparts. Coral reefs are formed by colonies of tiny animals, called polyps, which secrete calcium carbonate to build their hard, protective structures over time. These structures grow and create complex habitats that support an astonishing diversity of marine life. These underwater cities are home to a dazzling array of marine life from the smallest plankton to the largest predators. Coral reefs provide food, shelter, and breeding grounds for a multitude of species. The vibrant colors and intricate shapes of the coral attract a variety of fish, invertebrates, and other marine organisms, creating a bustling underwater metropolis. Coral reefs protect coastlines from erosion, provide food for millions of people, and play a vital role in the ocean's carbon cycle. Physical structure of the reefs acts as a barrier dissipating the energy of waves and reducing the impact of storms on coastal communities. The reefs also support fisheries that are crucial for the livelihoods of many people around the world. Additionally, coral reefs absorb carbon dioxide from the water, helping to regulate the ocean's acidity and maintain the health of marine ecosystems. These ecosystems, both on land and in the sea, are not merely beautiful landscapes. They are essential components of Earth's self-regulating system the interconnectedness of these environments highlights the importance of preserving and protecting them as we continue to explore and understand the complexities of these systems. We must also recognize our role in maintaining their health and balance the future of our planet depends on the delicate interplay of these natural systems and it is our responsibility to ensure their survival for generations to come. Section 4 the fury of nature, a balancing act while we often perceive natural disasters as destructive events. They are in fact integral to Earth self-regulation. Volcanoes, though seemingly destructive, release gases and minerals that enrich the atmosphere and soil. Fires while devastating clear out old growth and forests, making way for new life to flourish. Even hurricanes in their fury help regulate ocean temperatures and redistribute heat around the planet. These events often seen as chaotic and random are part of a larger, more intricate system of checks and balances. They are Earth's way of maintaining equilibrium, of ensuring that no single element spirals out of control. It's a reminder that nature's power, while or inspiring, is not inherently destructive. It's a force of balance and renewal. Section 5, Cosmic Connections. Gravity's embrace. The Gaia hypothesis doesn't stop at Earth's atmosphere. It suggests that Earth is a self-regulating, complex system where the biosphere, atmosphere, hydrosphere, and lithosphere are all interconnected. This interconnectedness extends beyond our planet's atmosphere. It extends outwards, connecting our planet to the vast cosmos. The Earth is not an isolated entity. It is part of a larger, intricate web of cosmic connections. These connections are governed by the same physical laws that apply throughout the universe. Same physical laws that govern the universe's gravity. Thermodynamics. Electromagnetism are at play here on Earth. Gravity, for instance, is a force that we experience daily, keeping us grounded and influencing everything, from the motion of the planets to the behavior of galaxies. Gravity, the force that holds the universe together, also binds our atmosphere and oceans to the planet. It is responsible for the tides, which are the rhythmic rising and falling of sea levels, caused by the gravitational forces. 
exerted by the moon and the sun. Thermodynamics, the study of energy and its transformations, governs the flow of energy through Earth systems, from the sun to plants to animals. The sun's energy is captured by plants through photosynthesis, which is then transferred through the food chain to animals and humans. These fundamental laws are not confined to our planet. They are universal principles that govern the behavior of matter and energy throughout the cosmos. Electromagnetism, for example, is responsible for the light we see from stars and the magnetic fields that protect planets. This realization underscores a profound truth. Earth is not an isolated island in the vast. Cosmic ocean is an integral part of the universe. Interconnected with the cosmos, through these fundamental laws, our planet is a small but significant part of a much larger dynamic system understanding these connections helps us appreciate the delicate balance that sustains life on Earth and the intricate dance of forces that shape our universe. From the smallest particles to the largest galaxies, everything is interconnected and gravity's embraces a reminder of our place in this vast, wondrous cosmos. Section 6, Reflections of Earth. The human body's symphony, the principles of balance and self-regulation, are not unique to Earth or the cosmos. They are mirrored within our own bodies. Just as Earth maintains a delicate equilibrium, so too does the human body, our internal systems, respiratory, circulatory, digestive, nervous, work in concert, constantly adjusting to maintain homeostasis, a state of internal balance essential for life. Our bodies are a microcosm of the macrocosm, reflecting the same principles of interconnectedness and self-regulation that govern the Earth and the universe. This realization highlights our profound connection to the natural world. We are not separate from nature. We are an integral part of it. Our body is a testament to the elegance and efficiency of the universe's fundamental laws. Section 7, Our Cosmic Responsibility. Guardians of Gaia, the Gaia Hypothesis, challenges us to rethink our relationship with Earth. It urges us to see ourselves not as masters of a planet, but as integral parts of a living, breathing system, it compels us to recognize that our actions have consequences, not just for ourselves, but for the delicate balance of our planet. We are in a very real sense, guardians of Gaia, the future of our planet, and indeed, our own survival depends on our ability to understand and protect this delicate balance. It's a responsibility we cannot shirk, a challenge we must embrace. For in safeguarding Earth's future, we are safeguarding our own, ensuring the continuation of life's grand symphony for generations to come.